to the nine story modes. And of course, this forms the basis of the story selling philosophy, which my new book, Shift and Disrupt, Stop Selling Widgets, Start Selling start selling wisdom uh, is predicated upon. We have looked at the three internal stories, the stories we've got to catch ourselves, telling ourselves about our buyer and ourselves. We've looked at the three external stories, which are the stories that we tell our buyers. And both of these are based on mindset and mental models. And now we are halfway through the essential stories. These are the stories that we must elicit from our buyer. And these are the stories that we need to seek. These are the stories that create meaning for our buyer. And so we've got to stop paddling on the surface with our discovery questions and our budget questions, authority, needs, time-based questions, and we've got to go deeper. And so we've looked at the expansion stories already and how we can lead the conversation. Where I want us to get to next are perspective stories. And these stories are based very much on psychology, very much on neurolinguistics, very much on understanding what makes other people tick. And so in order for us to be able to influence our buyers or anybody else, we need to understand what influences ourselves ourself to start with. And so our perspective stories um, are very much based around understanding the outcome that our buyer wants. Now, we typically, being uh, in the sales profession, we are typically as a collective very much um, focused on what can be, what could be. We are very possibility focused. We are very positivity focused. We we think everything is around benefits because that's what we've been taught. But sometimes it's not. And so understanding not just what our buyer wants as an outcome, but understanding what they don't want. And, and bringing in these this law of contrast is a really powerful way to deepen a conversation. So if we look at perspective and we understand that there is no right or wrong in this world, there is only the perception that we have of something happening. And so if we consider for a moment that our buyer perhaps, let's just say, has an objection to something, is that objection right or wrong? Now, most salespeople would say, well, what they're saying is wrong. But hang on, that's a belief that that buyer has. That buyer, that belief is 100% correct in that buyer's thinking based on that buyer's experiences in life, based on that buyer's beliefs, based on everything that buyer has been gone through growing up. So it's not up to us to, to tell our buyer that they're wrong. Does that make sense? So we need to understand how do we tap in to the deeper thinking of our buyer, and that is understanding the stories behind the stories. So that is deep work. That is, but it, it can be very simple in a sales conversation. It is understanding the outcome that your buyer wants or doesn't want. It's understanding the values of that buyer. What does something mean to that buyer? It's understanding the rules and what must have to happen for that buyer to make a decision in the direction that perhaps they want to go to. And underneath that, there's even more metadata. And, and that is understanding what's underneath the rules. And so this is neurolinguistics. This is um, this is coaching. And so you need to understand the basis of psychology if you really truly want to understand the perspectives of your buyer and the stories behind the stories of your buyer. And that can only happen with questions that are so not bant related, but it's getting to the root cause. And once again, this comes back to my whole 
my whole philosophy around the fact that if salespeople understand how to coach and not just sell, you will understand the problem the buyer has and the root cause of that buyer, what is causing that challenge, what the buyer will or won't do. So um, this, I suppose, I'm not going to get you to do anything um, off the back of this video, except just, um, I guess, reflect on the fact that are you open to taking your conversations to a deeper level, really leading the conversation and winning more business? Because this here is all about creating advocacy. So um, on that note, uh, I want you to consider that there is no right or wrong in this world. There are just different uh, viewpoints. There are different perspectives and understanding how to deal with those will enable you to completely lead the conversation. So on that note, have an amazing day and we'll see you in the next video, which will be our final uh, essential story that you must elicit from your buyer. And that is based around decision. So follow me on YouTube. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at The Story Seller. Follow me on LinkedIn and go to www.shiftanddisrupt.com to register for uh, the launch of my book. And if it's launched by the time you see this, uh, then register regardless because you'll get access to any of the resources ongoing. So on that note, have an amazing day and we'll speak to you soon. Bye.